Hey everybody. For this video, I want to talk about one of the most common questions I get about Schoology, which is, how do students get my work? Uh, and, and there's a lot of different answers to that. And it really comes down to how are you organizing your course? Uh, so I'm going to show you in this video uh, a couple different ways of organizing your course and show you the best practices from our best Schoology teacher, the venerable Josh Ike. So let's go ahead and head into Schoology uh, and take a look at a couple different classes. All right, so this first class we're going to look at organizes the class more as a resource location. You have the course organized by textbook and textbook chapter. Uh, and you have the putting English to work. Now, the upside of this is it's really organized. It looks great. You've got all your materials in there that link to your, your book. The downside is a resource. I just don't find it's very successful in engaging students. And teachers have used this in the past. The students just kind of die out in using it. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at how Josh organizes his class. We see that Josh has organized his class chronologically, week one, week two, week three, week four, and then inside each of those folders he nests work for the week. Uh, this folder is unlike the others. Most of the others he'll show day one, day two, day three, and so on. So this also has a lot of nesting involved where students can get lost uh, looking for folders. And I think Josh has come up with a pretty ingenious uh, workaround to make sure the students go right to the work he needs them to do. So let's... The first thing he did is set up his course so that his updates page is his landing page. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, this way the students arrive in their course and he's got a lesson plan laid out for the day. Uh, that tells them what they're going to be doing. And then inside each lesson plan, he has a link to that day's coursework. Uh, you can see he follows the same format each time, even the same colors. And the students know that blue link that has the date, when they click on it, it's going to take them right to their materials for the day. So I'm going to click on it in theory, and there I go, and we're into that folder, right? And he, there's my day's work right there. All right, so let's go ahead and make a link. So I've gone to my folder that I want to link to. This folder is called Let's Talk About Food, and I want students to go directly to these assignments in here. So one nice thing about Schoology is each assignment you're in, each folder you're in, has its own link. You can see up here in the browser bar, this link will take students to this folder. If I went into one of those assignments, I could also create a le link that took them directly to that assignment. So in this case, we're going to link to this folder. Also, when I'm creating a link, I like to have two tabs open. That way, if I make a mistake, uh, I can go jump right back by the tab into the folder that I'm making a link for. So let's navigate to our updates page. You see it's over on the left, right below materials. We have updates. I click on that and in this white box here we're going to type in our update. You see on the menu above where we're typing you can choose your fonts, your colors, you can insert media, you can insert a GIF, uh, you can change it to bold or italics. Alright now it's time to insert our link. We're going to click on the insert content box, the box with the arrow going into it, and choose link. And you have two parts. You have the actual link. We're going to copy and paste our link in there. And then you have the text for the link. Um, because I had already highlighted folder when I hit link, folder was set to go, but you can change this. So I'm going to customize it into Thursday's uh, June. Then I'm going to hit that blue insert button, and now I've got a link. Uh, if you, you're not going to be able to click it until you press post right here. And then it's a live link. And now you can test it out yourself. 
Go ahead and click on it, and it's going to take you right to that assignment. Or in that folder, I'm sorry. You can link right specifically to assignment if you like. Just first click on the assignment, then copy in the browser bar for that assignment. All right, the next thing we're going to do is set up our course so that the updates are the landing page. We're going to go to Course Options and Edit Privacy. And we're going to choose Privacy tab, which is where it lands on. It's, we're going to go all the way to the bottom to Default Landing Page. We're going to change that from Materials to Update. And then hit Save Changes. And then we can hit the breadcrumbs up there that'll take us back into our course. And as we go back into our course, boom, our new landing page is on the updates. The students will see the newest update. There's our link to our assignment. Click on it, and it takes me right into today's work. And that's it.